Okay, so for 150 years, organic chemists have ten, uh, chemistry courses have tended to acquire a daunting reputation. Uh, so you need help. I know you're very able, but trust me, you need help. So where do you need the help? The PowerPoints are available on the web. How many of you have already seen the PowerPoint for today, just so I have some idea? So about a quarter of you, maybe. Okay, but anyhow, so your lecture notes are important, but you don't have to worry about getting everything down because you can download it from the web. And I do it on a Mac, but I try as my best to make it compatible with PCs and even with the free PC viewer for PowerPoint. So you should be able to see it, but I don't see it on, on a PC. So if anything doesn't come through, let me know so that I can fix it. Uh, okay, then in-class discussion is very important. And if you're really, really shy and can't participate in, uh, in discussion in class, then email me a question, okay? There's the course website, which is our substitute for a text. It also includes the PowerPoint, and there's the link for it. And when you go there, you'll see it uh, develop. It's, it's la the current website is mostly last year's course. So it'll change a little bit as we go along, but fundamentally it's the same. If you want to look ahead, you'll see pretty much what's coming up. Uh, there'll be assigned problems and questions, and also their previous exams and answer keys. All these things are on the course website, so you'll, you'll get help there. Uh, but one thing that's really special is the course wiki. This is the third year we've done it, and the second year in a really systematic way. So you, be, you get assigned to, do, to cover a couple frames of the PowerPoint. Uh, so those are the ones you really need to take careful notes on. Okay, and write them up, and, if, and help other people, too. That's the nature of a wiki, as you know. How many of you have participated in a wiki? Well, by next week, it will be all of you. Okay, but in order to get credit for it, you have to get it by the night after the lecture, right? So the, for the lecture today, you have to get it by late tomorrow night, 36 hours after the lecture. This is so other students can, can use it. Okay. In the, in the spring, there'll probably be a textbook. I haven't really decided yet. These things cost an arm and a leg. Maybe we can find one that's used, that uh, uh, older edition. It doesn't make any difference except to the publishers. Okay, also there's personal help, like from me. And, there's, and you can find my phone number, email, and so on on the, on the website. Also, the two graduate student TAs who are assigned to the course, who are uh, Philip Kolinzik, Kolinzich, Kolinzich, Philip, back there, and Nathan uh, Schley, not Schley, Schley, okay? So these are graduate students in chemistry, and they run these uh, the discussion sections. Uh, typically, you have a 50-minute discussion section, but the way we run it in this course is that uh, on two different nights a week. They're two-hour sessions. You can come to any part of it you want to. You can go to both of them. You can go to four hours a week if you want to. Or you can go to none at all if you want to. Right? So it really, you, for, for the bookkeeping purposes of the department, you have to sign up for a section. Sign up for any section you want to, right? And then come to what's useful for you. Uh, but also, the reason you pay the big bucks to come here is not to hear me, it's to interact with the other students. That's a really big help. So form study groups, right? And in fact, you can get advice from previous uh, people who've taken the course. That's on the web. Also, there's some of them, there's a list of them on the web who would be happy to talk to you if you, if you need it. Uh, <clears throat> and we're blessed with three alumni, seniors, who took this course as freshmen who act as what are called peer tutors, and they'll run a session Sunday evening from 8 to 10 p.m. is the current plan. We'll announce the rooms for these things on the website and probably by email to you as well. So let me introduce Tina Ho, okay, and Drew Klein, and Justin Kim. So they'll be a big help to you too. So there's plenty of, plenty of personal help, so use it. Okay. Uh, these are the dates we're going to have exams. They're Ten lectures, and then an exam, nine lectures, exam, nine lectures, exam. Actually, if you check, you'll find that, uh, and, the, and also you get 50 points for participation in the wiki, and the total is 650 points. That's the, what your exam is based on. Actually, 
This doesn't cover it. It's nine lectures that are covered on the exam, but the previous Wednesday part of the lecture is going to be a guest lecturer that's going to be here just that day. So we're putting the exam off, but it'll only cover the previous material, not that that's a big deal. Okay, and the semester grade is biased. That is, it's based on this, your total score here out of 650 points. But if you're near a cutoff and you were very good about turning in your problem sets and so on, then we boost you up. We don't grade problem sets, but it, it's worthwhile to do them, right? And they might make a difference. Okay. Uh, okay. So where are we going with this? What are the goals of our freshman organic chemistry? In fact, if you click that in your PowerPoint, you'll get taken to that site. But it's right on the website. You'll see it anyhow. Uh, first is to learn the crucial facts and vocabulary of organic chemistry. After all, that's what we think we're here for. And to develop a theoretical intuition about how bonding works. This is the goal for the primary goal of the first half of the fall semester is to learn how bonding works really, right? And that relates then to molecular structure and also how bonding changes. And that, of course, is reactivity. But under the line, there are a lot of other things that you, we do in freshman organic chemistry that are arguably just important, just as important. Like make the scientific transition from school to university. In school, they try to teach you what people know. In the university, you try to develop new knowledge. So you need a different mindset for that. And we hope this course helps you develop that. So learn from organic chemistry, which is really, in my view, a model science, how to be a creative scientist. So here's, here's a creative scientist by anybody's measure, Louis Pasteur. And in the 1880s, he said this in French, but in English it says, knowing to be astonished by something is the mind's first step toward discovery. Another way of putting that is that the characteristic comment on making a real discovery is not eureka, it's, huh, that's funny. Right? So that's what you really have to learn. You learn enough about how chemistry works and form this picture in your mind that when something happens that doesn't fit, you know to be astonished so that you can discover something. That's exactly what Pasteur did, and we'll talk about that in the course. And even perhaps more important, to develop good taste so that you can distinguish sense from nonsense. There's certainly more nonsense floating around than sense. And being able to tell the difference is important. The way you do it is to develop good taste by looking at a lot of good examples and then you're aware of how crummy the bad examples are. So we're going to try to emphasize good examples. And have fun. OK. So and it, it, as we go along here, if you have questions, break in. You'll, you'll do this much more as we go along, I know. So the class really is mostly about theory, although we describe the basis for the theory and spend a lot of time trying to make it real. But we require Chemistry 126L, the lab. This is the only chemistry course that requires you to take a lab simultaneously. So I hope you're all enrolling in that because there'll be a certain day that you want to be able to take it. It's just one afternoon a week, uh, three hours or whatever it is. But you want to get your first choice, so line up soon. Well, you'll be accommodated, but it's just more convenient if you get, get it arranged earlier. But why? Because Lab answers the really big question. And the big question was brought home to me by my son, John McBride, in his third year. This was the beginning of the third year, and his mother and I didn't know what was coming. For the next year, maybe 15, maybe 20 times a day, he said, how do you know? <laughs> 